QRS is getting wider, right? The potassium is rising. I'll talk to your doctor. <sighs> Never forget the ECG changes of hyperkalemia in the next 60 seconds. Imagine the ECG wave is like a string. All you need to do is to pinch the T wave and to pull the other side. But it does depend on the severity of hyperkalemia. So let me explain. By the way, if you want to master your OSCEs and your vibers, you may be interested in my guide, Never Forget Clinical Exams. Comment OSCE for some free pages. If your patient has a high potassium, then early on you should be thinking, are there any ECG changes? If your potassium is mildly high, then the first sign tends to be peaked T waves. So step one is to imagine pitching the T wave whereas a moderately raised potassium is between about six and seven. At this phase, the PR interval tends to get longer and the QRS gets wider. So imagine you're still pinching that T wave, but on the other side, you're starting to pull the ECG wave like a piece of string. A potassium above seven is when it starts getting scary. This is when bradyarrhythmias are more likely to set in. Amongst these arrhythmias, you may see a sine wave start to develop. So imagine you kept pulling that string and let go of the T wave, and now you know. I want you to test your active recall in the comment below by telling me the treatment options for hyperkalemia. Oh, and I've got another patient for you, but you're gonna have to follow me to come and see them next.